Welcome to the Chemistry Laboratory. I'm Dr. Murray. This is Mr. Linda. We are two of your lecturers, part of the teaching team who's going to introduce you to real chemistry. That means where the calculations and equations you've been balancing become real. As you can see, it can sometimes be dangerous. There can be fumes that are irritating and explosions can even take place. So we just need to explain a few rules to you for your own safety. Wear safety goggles. Approved eye protection should protect against both impact and spills and splashes near the eyes. It is best not to wear contact lenses in the laboratory since chemical vapors may dissolve in the liquid of the eye and concentrate behind the lenses. If you must wear contact lenses and cannot wear prescription glasses, you must indicate that you are wearing them by marking your safety goggles as this student demonstrates. Eating, drinking and smoking are forbidden in the laboratory at all times. Never take any food or drinks into a laboratory as airborne chemicals and vapors could contaminate it. The same rule applies to makeup or lip ice that could transfer chemical residue to the skin. Dress like a chemist. Wear clothing that will provide the maximum body coverage. Clothing should extend to cover the ankles and a laboratory coat buttoned down the front which completely covers the arms and extends below the knees is most suitable. Protective gloves are essential to protect your hands. Shorts and mini skirts are completely inappropriate. Open-toed sandals are forbidden in the lab. Ensure that you always wear closed shoes in the laboratory. It is also a good idea to ensure that they have rubber or some other form of slip resistant soles. Long hair must be securely tied back since hair that hangs loose can be a danger in the laboratory as it can get into chemicals or impair your vision. Similarly, loose hanging items round the neck such as student cards cell phones and keys, scarves or ties, as well as jewellery, must be secured inside your lab coat or removed since you may unintentionally knock over chemicals and cause a spill or even a fire. Never taste or touch any chemical in the lab. Many chemicals are absorbed through the skin if directed to smell a vapour, do not smell the source directly. Simply waft the vapours towards your nose. Perform any reactions involving toxic, irritating or otherwise dangerous chemicals or unpleasant odours under the fume hood. In the case of fire or any type of accident in the lab, the instructor and technicians must be informed immediately. Note the location of showers and fire extinguishers, as well as the eyewash fountains in the lab where you are working. Wet towels and fire blankets can be used in case of fire. In the event of a chemical spill onto the body or clothes, stand under the safety shower for at least five minutes to flood the affected area with water. Remove contaminated clothing to prevent further reaction with the skin and wash off all chemicals with large quantities of running water. If any chemicals made contact with the skin, consult a medical doctor for further treatment. 
Should any chemical spills or splashes happen on the facial area or eyes, go directly to the eye wash station and run a gentle stream of water over the eyes and face for at least 20 minutes. An eye specialist should be consulted immediately.